please give it up for Megan Smith. I was 18 when Dad died. I came home from college one day to find I couldn't open the door. Something was blocking it. And I thought it was Josh mucking around, but it just went on too long and it was too early for him to be home from school anyway. So I went around the back, went over the garden fence and found Dad by the front door. Still warm, but barely breathing. I called an ambulance for him, but by the time they arrived he had slipped away. Heart attack. No warning. <laughs> when I was 10, Joshua and eight, he bought us this remote control aeroplane for Christmas. He used to buy us expensive gifts back then, like he was trying to make up for mum leaving us or something. It was silly. Anyway, we're on the beach and we're flying it. And Dad must not have charged it quite as much as he thought he did because it just stops in midair. The propellers on it go dead and it just starts gliding out to sea. Now Dad sprints into the ocean, this freezing December ocean, like fully clothed, big coat on, just fighting the tide, trying to catch it for us. And he did. For us, he managed. Every part of this place, Dad sits on every corner. On its curbs and its cafes and pubs. Every sunrise stroll I say good morning to him and tell him how I'm doing. You can't have swell without dad. You can't have dad. That's well.